In this presentation, we're going to record a transaction related to net assets being released from restriction. Get ready because here we go with zero. Here we are in our not-for-profit organization dashboard. We're going to be jumping over to Excel to see what our objective will be. We're currently in the tab 10, last tab on the worksheet. You'll recall in prior presentations, we've been entering data basically in a journal entry format, recording that information to the trial balance. Within the trial balance, you'll see that uh, we don't have those two columns as we do have in the statement of activities. And therefore, we had to break things out such as the expenses down here and they're in there by nature how we would normally see expenses in the expense categories that you would typically think of with regard to expenses rent salaries and so on and so forth you'll recall we made another worksheet breaking it out by both nature and by their function if we were to do that in a trial balance worksheet and I'll, we won't go through the process because the accounting software will help us to do that that's what the functions will help us to do but if we were trying to see this in, in a worksheet such as this and build the reports in excel a two-dimensional kind of worksheet we would have to take then these expenses, for example, I took these ending balances over here and then pulled them into our beginning balances in this worksheet down below in starting in cell P35. And then we took this information and then recategorized with this journal entry. You can analyze this worksheet if you so choose. I'll give it to you here. But we took it out of the, the expense items that were by, uh, by nature and then allocated them out to the expense of items by function including the two programs and the management in general so now we're going to we're going to be down here and working with the second trial balance to do the next transaction we're going to be thinking about here so this trial balance now this is a way that we can see once again a trial balance by breaking out expenses by nature up top and a, a, a trial balance breaking out by function on the expenses down below we're going to record this item to this second trial balance now the next thing that happens is we're going to say that some items were released from restrictions and we're going to say that the released item from restriction was for the government grant items, which we spent money on. We're going to spend money on education. So given the fact that we're spending money on education, that re that's going to release money from a restriction because now we've, we've uh, complied with that restriction. We're going to release the money. So anytime we can spend money or anytime we do spend money in such a way that it's going to comply with some kind of restriction that is in place, our assumption is then that we spent the money, you know, out of that money to, to, so that we can release the restriction. In other words, our goal as the not-for-profit organization is, of course, to release the money from restriction whenever possible so we could spend the money in whatever way we see fit uh, as, as much as possible within the confines of our objective, which is, the, you know, the, generally the programs that we need to have. Okay, so we got to release it from restriction. Now, to do that in this two-dimensional kind of a field, we're going to say we spent 128504 in something that's going to be able to, to release money from restrictions. And we're going to use two accounts that look very similar, very long names here. Net assets released satisfaction of pur pur purchase <laughs> purpose restriction without donor restrictions. Same name with donor restrictions. You can think of these like as, exp as I would think of them as like income accounts and income goes up with a credit balance. So the one that has no restriction is now going up. The one without restriction because we're releasing it from restrictions, so we're, we're crediting it, increasing it for an in, from an income per, account perspective, or decreasing an expense. In other words, decreasing net in, or you know, increasing net income. Uh, and then on the other side, we're gonna say the one that was restricted with restriction is gonna be going down if you're thinking about an income account, or you could think of it as an expense kind of account. In other words, net income is gonna be going down from this one. So increase in, in this one, decrease in this one no net effect on our, our net income from from a total perspective so no net effect here but we when we break it out to our two columns it'll be broken out within the two columns in the statement of activities so when we see this in a trial balance format we need two accounts to represent it so that we can then use the trial balance to construct the statement of activities but when we see it in the statement of activities then we can break it out and you'll see here we've got this net assets released from restriction satisfaction of purpose and the one uh, with donor restrict uh, without donor restrictions unrestricted that the good one that we don't want restrictions right is going up on the income side and the one that has donor restrictions is going down so the donor restricted items are going to be uh, decreasing and so we're going to record this in the in the current period and of course these net incomes or the or the total the the change in the net assets is going to be then rolling over to the equity section basically on the balance sheet statement of position 
Okay, so that's going to be our trend. Now, note here also that we really only need one account if you if you have this breakout. Now, obviously, we're going to be breaking this out in our system in zero by using the classification function. So really, we only need one account and then to assign them to their proper classes. I'm still going to make two accounts, however, because I, I like that kind of balancing method because that helps us to it gives me like a double check on it. So I would still create two accounts and you can group them together using zeros formatting for, for formatting purposes if you so choose with the really flexible reporting functions they have. Okay, so let's go over and see how we're going to do this within zero. So I'm going to go back on over to, to zero. And then we're gonna, I'm going to do this with a journal entry. So we can do it here with a journal entry. So I'm going to select the accounting dropdown. We're going to go into our reports. And again, I'm looking in the reports, not for an actual report, but I'm looking to get to the journal entry so I can enter some debits and some credits here. We're going to go down to the general journal. We're going to say add new journal. So we're going to be adding a new journal, which is basically a, a journal entry, debits and credits. And we're going to say that this is going to be, I'll just call it uh, release from restrict john and this is going to be education government grant and then we're going to say the date on this thing uh, let's just <clears throat> put it as of the somewhere close to the end of the year here i won't look up the date we'll make it as of uh, january into the month here somewhere close i'll pick it the 30th doesn't necessarily this isn't a, an, an adjusting entry necessarily here so this is could be any time in the month there's no all right, and then we're going to go down. So that populates down here. That looks good. Now, of course, we're going to need a new account here. So we're going to need a new account. And we're going to say the one that uh, was released without donor restrictions. So I'll make this account name something similar to that. I'll shorten it up once we get here. But we're going to have to make a new account. And it's going to be some kind of income. I'm going to put it on the income side of things. So we want to make it somewhere in the revenue or income or sales area. So here, let's put it, uh, let's put it under the, the service. It should be on the bottom probably. So let's make it uh, 4350, 4350. So I'm going to go back up top and say, I want to make a new one. And I'm going to make the code to be 4350. The account type, sales type of account. Let's make it a sales type of account. Scrolling down, sales type of account. And then I'll put that huge name here. And I'm going to say, really, I want it to be net assets released. And let's just say net assets released. And then say this is going to be the uh, restricted. Because this is going to be the debit one that's restricted. And then the unrestricted is a credit. So I think that's what we need. I think that's it. So I'm going to say, say, well, let's just copy this whole thing now. Because I'm going to do this again except the next one's gonna be unrestricted. So I'm gonna say copy that and then save. And then uh, on the next one, let's put the next one in there while I'm thinking about it. This one's gonna be another account. Like we could put it in a same account, net assets released, and then again, use the classes, but I'm gonna make two accounts. Just, just we, I mentioned that before, I won't say it again. And then I'm gonna say the drop down, and we're gonna to go to new account. And this one's gonna be, the, the number's gonna be uh, 4352, let's say. So I'm going to say new account number 4352. And then the name is going to be that. But then I'm going to say it's unrestricted. Unrestricted. And then the type is going to be a sales type of account. And then that looks good. So I think that's good. I'm going to save that. So there we have that. And then once we go into the uh, restricted and unrestricted, I'm going to say that this one is going to be, this is going to be the, well, the debit's actually the restricted one. This one's the restricted one. And I'm going to put it into the government grants for the education. So it's going to actually come out of there because it's a debit. It's going to be decreasing that item. And then the amount was for, let's see, the amount uh, was for, one two eight five oh four so we're gonna say the amount one two two eight five oh four and then the unrestricted i'm gonna put all the unrestricted into the fundraising when it's the income on the income side of things so i'm just gonna put it into unrestricted uh fundraising one two eight five oh four so all right so there we have it that looks good that looks good everything looks good okay let's go on down and uh post this 
check it out. So we'll post this out and then we're going to go into our reports and see what has happened with it. So then we're going to go up top. We're going to go to the accounting drop down. Let's take a look at our uh, income statement. Let's look at all, all four of these income statement type reports. So let's open up the income statement. And there we have it. Then I'm going to right click on this tab, duplicate it. Then I'm going to go back to the tab to the left and let's open up our income statement worksheet. So I'm going to hit the drop down. Now these are the ones that we made. So we made these in prior presentations. It was good times. If you missed those, you can go back in and, and uh, check those out. So we're going to look at the income statement worksheet and then I'm going to duplicate this tab once it pulls up again. I'm going to hover up on the on the tab up top, right click on it, duplicate it. Then go back to the tab to the left again. We'll do this again. We'll hit the accounting drop down. We're going to go to the restricted uh, items worksheet. Let's go into the restricted items worksheet. Again, another altered income statement for the restricted items. We'll see how all these tie together as we go practicing that process. Right clicking on the tab up top again, duplicating the tab, going back to the tab to the left, accounting drop down. So we'll go to the accounting drop down. Then we want uh, the unrestricted worksheet, unrestricted worksheet. So there we have it. So we in income statement, uh, the income statement worksheet, the restricted items, and then the unrestricted items. Okay, let's go back to the tab to the right. Here's the actual income statement. So if we go down to the income statement, our new items are here. Just as we saw in the worksheet, we see one going up and one going down. Notice their income type of accounts. Uh, if you got the debits and credits wrong, then you know obviously just you could just reverse it right here. Here you see it in the, in the plus and minus format where the unrestricted item is going up from an income perspective, restricted going down, no net effect down here, no net effect. Uh, we're just showing that that release from the restriction that's going to flow through basically the total equity section. Though. So okay, so then we're going to go then to the worksheet. Let's go to the second tab to our worksheet. And here we see it broken out with regards to the unrestricted. So the unrestricted uh, is now uh, decreasing and we don't see the item on the restricted side. Yes, we do. What am I talking about here? So we've got the unrestricted here. So 128,504 is increasing on the unrestricted because it came out of the restriction. Is now It's now unrestricted and reducing the restricted side. So this little worksheet up to the total column is going to be similar to our statement of activities, which is now breaking this information out in this format. Again, note that we could have just used one account called release from restrictions, right? Instead of using two accounts here, but the two accounts gives us kind of that double check that it's going to be, that's going to be deleting out. Now also note that if you wanted to see this in one account, you could then for, for external reporting purposes, again, if we wanted to make an external report, you can edit your report and, and I would make an internal and external. So this is something we might do when we get to the editing of the external reports. But if I then hold down control and I'm, I'm shifting, I'm you know, going down so we can see our activity. And if we went to the restricted and unrestricted, if I was to take this one and hold down control and take both of those and then say, I want to group that into just one group, which I'm going to name, uh, net assets released from restriction and then say okay and then I want to I want to uh, pull those into that item so then now those are going to be grouped together so then I can say all right done net assets really I won't save this item so next time I pull up this worksheet it won't show this way but this is some one way that you can you could get the more detail and have that grouping. And again, this is similar to like sub accounts. So you can kind of do this in like a QuickBooks online, but the flexibility you have with it here is pretty, pretty nice. So now it just, it shows up in that one line item, even though we have, have two reports. That's kind of like a, a sub account type of activity. If I wanted to expand them, I would just go to the edit tab and then hit that little triangle to expand them back out. And then we could see it in that format as well. I'm going to hold down control, scroll up just a bit. And then if we break out this information to the unrestricted and, and restricted, if I go into the restricted items here, so within the restricted items, scrolling down, the, res the actual item that was unrestricted was with regards to the government grants. So now we see the government grants here. We see the restricted item with regards to the government grants. So now we got this item that are still restricted, the 30496 
So now we're showing the actual items that are restricted. And note that this ties out this to to the the end result here because I'm using I'm looking at the same accounting period, the 234656 for our three restrictions: grants, time, long-term projects. 234656 ties out to the income statement where we have the 234656 and the restricted items. Back to the this one. Uh, also note that if you this would also tie out to the balance sheet, and well let's check it out. If we go, if well, we can't see it right now, but later on we'll take a look at the balance sheet. But just note that when we tie it out to the balance sheet, we're going to have to change the date range to the life of the restricted item, and then that, and then it will show an item that will tie out to the balance sheet item for for the restricted account. So the sum of all restriction accounts for the life of the of the restriction should then be tied out to the balance sheet accounts, which we'll have two of them after we make an adjustment for them, which will show the restricted and unrestricted items. Uh, for the for the kind of like the equity section or the net assets section of the balance sheet Then if we go to the unrestricted again, if we go back to this income statement now We're looking at the unrestricted which is this uh, this gross profit of the 365 504 That's going to be covered by this worksheet the unrestricted items and there's the we put it into fundraising and if I scroll down We get uh, the net income the 301 uh, 252 Actually, let's take a look at that bottom line number on the, if I take a look at the unrestricted bottom line number on the net income, we're getting a total of 44,244. If I go back to my worksheet over here and we take a look at the total column, uh, which is this one, the 44,244 for the unrestricted. All right, so then I'm gonna go back on over here. So there's, there's the detail there. Now, the thing we changed is the income side of things and notice that typically we're looking at the breakout here. We just put it into into uh, fundraising. So typically we'll we'll put you know the default setting when the income is going up is to put it into basically the fundraising category unless there's you know specific activity on on the other categories here. Usually, I mean the main purpose of this report, the requirement of this report is to break out the expenses down here uh, down below as we saw in a prior presentation, both by function and by uh, nature. So, but in any case. This report, of course, will then tie out to the, the income statement worksheet report as well. But it will tie out to the unrestricted column. So that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.